Welcome to the first video on my channel. My name is Barbara and this is my nursing journey. So it's about midnight here in Florida. Today is August 29th or maybe it's August 30th. I'm recording this video. Hopefully I like the way it comes out so I can just upload it to tell you guys about how <coughs> I challenged the CNA test in Florida because I just didn't feel like paying for a class. First of all, I can't afford it. To pay for a class for $300, then pay Prometric $180, and then pay another $100 for fingerprinting. So if you're in Florida and you want to challenge the test, whether if you I already been a home health aide in the past, which was my case. I used to be a home health aide about six or seven years ago in New York, but I'm originally from Florida. When I moved back down here, could not transfer over. I did other things. So I've decided that I want to get into nursing and I'm starting at the CNA level, which I'm okay with. Um, as you guys continue to watch me grow on this channel, you'll see that I'm going to take it level by level. So, back to the story. So, you can go on Google. You can type in CNA Test in Florida. The Prometric site will come up. No, the, I'm sorry. The Florida State site will come up and it'll give you options like apply like if you want to take a test apply here um if you guys need a more detailed video on how it looks i can give you one anyway so you go to the parametric site and you request to be a challenger of the test so that means you didn't you didn't go to a school you're electing to just take the test i was very nervous to do this but i felt like i could handle it so what i did was I joined a Facebook group for CNAs and I posted, I asked a question like, oh, has anybody challenged a test in their state? Some people were like, no, they didn't, but some people did. Anyway, someone, that person, such a blessing, they gave me this website it's a website and it's a YouTube channel for the number four, your Y O U R C N A dot com. I bought their online program, which was $29.99. The program's open to you for four weeks. They have a lot of modules. I mean, a lot, a lot. It takes a long time to get through, but I got through it. And also, with the skills, they literally have every single skill on YouTube. And I watched the videos, I learned the concepts, and I took the test today, and I'm not gonna lie, I was so nervous. I was so scared because there was six of us in the waiting room. I was the only challenger there. So three people went ahead of us, three people went into the skills room, those three people all fail their skills. I, me and three other people went to the test room. I passed my written test. I missed seven questions out of 60. Well, out of 50 because 10 of the questions are like research purpose questions. That's what you're told. So out of 50, I missed seven questions. I passed that. That, I also, it, it's common sense. And if you have any prior medical, um, if you worked in any prior medical like fields of any kind or you know any nurses some of the questions you could figure out but it's mostly common sense so i was very happy about that but literally i had to wait like over an hour and a half to take skills and the whole time i was doubting myself the skills that i got were pulse record and measure the pulse range of most motion for the elbow and the wrist and then I got partial bed bath and I messed up. Excuse me. It wasn't until after I finished a partial bed bath and I sat outside and I was telling her, she was like, I put soap 
on the person's face and you're not supposed to do that with partial bed bath as you get through your CNA program you'll you'll know that I just completely forgot I was so nervous there's two RNs in the room um, that are provided by Prometric that are like watching you take the test you know watching you perform the skills it's very scary so I'm gonna tell you how the skills go Clearly, I'm making this video so I pass my skills. I'm very happy. I'm very grateful. It's like God knew that I needed to pass this test, which is I did. So you go in there. They prompt you. They tell you all the rules. They tell you what. They show you what the care plan is going to be, etc. They tell you that you can make corrections. For my last skill, I made a lot of corrections yeah I'll tell you guys about that so the very first thing you get watched when you do is of course you know you have to knock on the door acknowledge the guest I mean the resident let them know who you are what you are what you're going to be doing pull the privacy curtain and I said um Mrs. Jones I'm going to pull your privacy curtain I'm going to wash my hands they walk over as you're washing your hands of course so the first skill well the first thing that gets washed, because hand washing is not a part of your skills, if that makes sense. Because you have to perform three skills, like I told you, pulse, range of motion, and partial bed bath. That's separate. Hand washing is its own thing. So they wash you, wash your hands. Of course, I wash my hands, not well, kind of vigorously for 20 seconds. Then I wash, um, then I wash my nail beds, then I wash under my nails. And then I made sure I didn't touch the, the inside of the, the sink. My, I made sure that my body wasn't touching the sink. I wiped my hands from the fingertips down to my wrist, inside and outside. After I washed my hands, I made sure that I, um, that I turned the faucet on a paper towel. Then I walk over and I, you know, I, I do my skills. <sighs> I was having the hardest time finding the pulse. But what I what I did what I did record I put it down, um, I, and the pulse gets done twice. So each evaluator they come over and they check the pulse as you're checking the pulse. You have to stay start and stop. You have to make sure you're doing this for a minute. You have to make sure that you're 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 in sync. You know, because whatever number you put down, I put down seventy five and seventy eight. And I can only, you can only be off by one or two. <sighs> okay, so I did that. The range of motion I did, I kind of rushed through the range of motion because I was so nervous. Because once I saw my care plan, I was panicking. When I tell you guys I was panicking, I was panicking because I'm like, oh my God. I didn't, when I was learning the skills on my own, I didn't even focus on partial bed bath. <sighs> okay, so partial bed bath, I almost failed it. Because when you're doing partial bed bath, like in real life, you need six washcloths because partial bed bath is, consists of washing the face, washing one arm and one hand, and then the back. Yes. So you need six washcloths. Um, so at first I only had three. Then I said, oh, I'm sorry. I have to make a correction. I need washcloth. I got three more. Then I realized that I was giving the bath, and you know, when you're giving the partial bed bath, you're not supposed to allow the patient's mattress to get wet. I was like, correction, I think I need a new gown. Correction, I think I need another towel. So making those corrections worked out for me and it helped me pass the test. I'm sure of it. And I'm surprised I didn't I'm I didn't fail because I used soap on the patient's face. But I guess but if you look on the Prometric site, it lets you know each skill what the evaluator is looking for. And I guess it wasn't a big situation. And of course, I used gloves and I, and they wanted to see how I took off the gloves. That's not even a thing that you learn. Well, for this, they don't really focus on that, but you should look that up on your own. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. I know this is a brand new channel and a brand new video on the channel. There might not be many people that watch this video, but even if one person watches this video, I'll be very happy because I was looking for videos on YouTube about people who challenged the Florida State test instead of going to school for it 
because going to a CNA school, I'm nothing against the people that own these schools, but if you're not, if you don't have a job or if you're not making a lot of money, paying three hundred plus dollars for their program, plus paying pro metric a hundred and sixty seventy two dollars plus paying for fingerprinting plus paying for uniforms plus paying for shoes becoming a cna can literally cost you up to seven hundred dollars and let me see i paid 96 dollars for my fingerprinting i bought that course for 29 dollars i did buy a book that i didn't use but that's okay that was that's mostly for my mental comfort if i wanted to read it i didn't even end up needing it so, yeah, I paid Prometric $172.60. Then I bought the course for $29. That's it. Like, that's way more affordable. And I'm not saying everyone can do this, but if you have any prior medical history, if you even know any CNAs, ask them to help you. They will. Just start going on YouTube now and watching CNA skills. Look it up for your state. If you're in Florida, for your CNA on YouTube is your best bet. I promise. They're Florida-based. Watch the videos from 2006, not the ones from 2012 because that's old. But I promise you, the number four, Y-O-U-R, CNA on YouTube, watch all, they have a whole playlist watch it and then go through the other videos because they talk about the role of the CNA they talk about everything like I would I would recommend the $29.99 program um yeah if you guys have any questions let me know I'm so excited to be starting my nursing journey I'm hoping I can get through every phase because I kind of suffer from school anxiety I kind of like I kind of suffer when I go to college. I've been through school already. I have a degree already and I get super stressed, but this is something that I really want. So now I'm giving myself a few days to relax. I'm I've already started applying for jobs. Of course, of course I have. Um, I do want to get my um, CPR, my BLS. I'm going to do that, but uh, today's a the 29th slash 30th there's hurricane dorian's coming so i'm gonna wait for that to pass and um yeah <sighs> i'm gonna start studying for the t's test and trying to get into an lpn program please join me on this journey again any questions i also started an instagram page for my nursing journey so you can dm me there send me a message here Good luck on your test if you're having your test soon. Please feel free to ask me questions if you're in Florida. And if you're local, I can help you. <laughs> Bye.